Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. This is Malik Arjun. Right. So today I'm gonna with a new interesting topic that is a class plot for migration table space. That is simply we can call it as a XTTS with an incremental backup. Right. This is going to be one of the hot topic in market and uh, uh, many DBAs are very very interested. And then you know nowadays uh, many customers are trying to migrate their database from one prem one platform to other platform, especially from on-premise to, to cloud, right? Any cloud vendor. So the migration has become one of the tedious and challenging tasks for many DBS and uh, and especially migration of database in a smooth manner with a minimal downtime. Remember like minimal downtime is going to be keyword, you know, how, how much minimum downtime you can offer for, you know, in order to achieve this database migration, that's going to be one of the brilliant uh, migration method, right? So here I'm gonna uh, represent this cross platform transportable table space that is a solution provided by Oracle with uh, some of the dynamic scripts. So that is going to be one of the interesting uh, uh, script where you can make use of your the smooth database migration from one platform to other platform, right? So this is a, again a free script available with the Oracle. So you can download it from Oracle Moss. Uh, right now that's a V4 version V4. Uh, which is already released. You can use the V4 script. You can achieve this your migration with a minimal downtime, right? So I'm going to give you brief commands and you know in depth understanding of how the script is going to work, and then how you're going to achieve your migration, right? Right. So this V4 reduces a transportable, uh, you know, table space downtime using your class platform incremental backup. This is the this is the Oracle Moss Node 27. Oh, sorry, 2471 245.1. So already probably I opened that one here. So V4 reduce transport uh, transportable table space downtime using cross platform incremental backup. So this is the script for that. Right, we'll talk about that entire script and then uh, the journey here. Right, so this is my overall achievement. This is my overall, uh, you know, a target. So my source database is of uh, 12C, uh, 12.2, 12.1, 11 or whatever it is. My source database is 11G or 12C, or 12.1 or 12.2 which is running under, uh, you know, IBM AX, AX server. So this goal is here. Uh, I want to migrate my database 12C to 19C. So my database is of uh, in IBM AX. I want to migrate it to Linux. So that has a Oracle 19C, the 12C to 19C from AX to Linux, right? From IBM AX to Linux. So this is a goal I wanna achieve, I'm gonna try to achieve here. How I can make it here with a minimal downtime Assuming that my database is of uh, 30 terabyte, and then to take entire 30 terabyte backup, that's gonna take around roughly, I can say 15 hours, and then copy that entire backup to target server, that's gonna take around five hours, 15 plus five, 20 hours, and then restore gonna take another 15 hours. So 35 hours, so no customer is gonna willing to give the 35 hours of downtime. So how you can achieve this uh, you know, minimal downtime to make this entire migration from 12C to 19C from AX to Linux. That's a brilliant project, right? Uh, in order to achieve this one, again, I'm gonna use that uh, Oracle provided uh, V4, uh, transportable table space uh, using this V4 script. I'm gonna use this uh, V4 script and then you can go all the way down and you can download this uh, V4 script here. Uh, you can download the, the script here, V4 version four, Armen XTT convert script, right? Uh, the overall, this entire uh, the project, the the entire uh, migration phases are you know divided in seven phases. Uh, cross platform transportable table space XTTS. Uh, phase one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. These are the seven phases. Phase one, like initial phase, that's a online, no need of downtime. That's a preparation phase, initial setup phase. Phase two, the prepare phase, full backup and restore. Again, online, no need of downtime. And then phase three, roll forward, incremental backup, and then incremental restore, online, no need of downtime. Phase four, the final cutover phase. That's the incremental backup and restore. Here, the downtime starts. And then the phase five, again, import all metadata from source to target and validate uh, your transportable table space on the target downtime and then the cleanup. So done. So with the seven phases, with the uh, entire database migration from 12C to 19C, it's all done with a minimal downtime. Only you're gonna offer a downtime here 
at for phase number four with a minimal downtime. That's an incremental backup. Right. So let's see that one. Like now, this is a staging area. This is your source database, twelve C in AX, and it's a nineteen C in uh, your uh, Linux. So you're going to take a backup and put it on the staging area. From the staging area, you're going to restore into your nineteen C database. That's a simple step overall how it looks here. Right. So what we're going to do this initial phase. Initial phase, initial setup phase. You have this twelve C database here. You're going to install brand new 19C database on your Linux server here. Brand new 19C database with the empty database. You're going to install here, and then that's your initial setup phase, right? That's the first phase. Second phase is preparation phase. You need to download that Oracle provided transportable script from Oracle Mars Node, whatever I showed you. You're going to download this particular uh, transportable script on your both source and target server. And then you're going to unzip it and you're going to place it on both the servers. And then in the prepare phase, you're going to take that complete 30 terabyte source database backup. We are not touching anything at the source side. We are just taking a RMAN backup here. And then we're going to staging here. And then from there, we're going to restoring it here, entire 30 terabyte. As I said, that 30 terabyte database backup may take 15 hours. And then the restore may take 15 hours. It's all online activity. We are not going to touch, we're not going to bring down my uh, you know, uh, source database here. That's going to be one of the brilliant tasks, right? We're not going to bring any downtime on my source database. I'm going to take a complete backup and restore it here. Entire 30 terabyte backup and restore will be done with the online mode. Right. So once you do your complete 30 terabyte uh, backup and restore, assuming that Sunday I did a complete backup and Monday I did a complete restore here. And then Probably next one week I do the everyday incremental backup and restore. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, uh, and then the Saturday. Uh, this six days I'm going to take all the incremental backup. Just take incremental backup here and then stage here and then restore here. That will be that will be your role uh, forward. Take incremental backup here and then restore it here. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, all six days I'm going to just take an everyday incremental backup and restore it here. And then in the phase four, and the, that is your cutover phase. That is the next set Sunday, you get a complete downtime of assuming that one hour or two, hour you'll get a downtime. And then what you need to do, you just shut down your production database, shut down in the sense, cut down your application, stop your listener, and then mount your database, and then start your final incremental backup. Once you take that final incremental backup, stage it here, and then restore it here, and then the final restore is done. And that's where your downtime start. You just shut down your database and start in mount mode. And then you're starting taking your backup here. That's where the downtime starts. And then final uh, incremental backup, you're going to take it here and then restore it here on the fourth phase. And then the fifth phase, what you're going to do, you're going to take an entire metadata backup here. And then you're going to restore that entire metadata backup here. Once that entire metadata backup, if you take it and restore it, that metadata backup is not going to take more than one hour or two hours. You are going to do that met backup, you know, uh, export metadata only with export and import. You're going to do that uh, export and import. You're going to take the export backup metadata only, and then that's going to take not more than one hour, two hour, and then you're going to restore it here. And then after that, you're going to validate all the restored table spaces here, and then you're going to bring that table spaces online, and then you are going to validate your data between source and target, all the objects, everything will be intact. And then you're going to clean up whatever the backup you staged on the staging area. You're going to delete all of them. That's your seventh phase, that clean up phase, right? With that, you know, with a minimal downtime of one hour or two hours, you're going to do that entire 30 database migration from your AX to Linux. And also you're going to upgrade your database from, uh, you know, 12C to 19C in two tasks in one activity, right? Very, very brilliant. So I'm going to explain in further. So these are your, uh, uh, you know, the like, uh, initial, uh, uh, you know, consideration what you need to take. So I'm going to skip these all. You just go read through all of them, like, you know, uh, how much it is supported and how much data file you can copy it. And then what are the transport cross platform, what are the platforms it is supported? You are little Indian to big Indian, uh, you are AX to Linux, Linux to AX, and Windows to AX, Windows to uh, AX to Windows. All those are like, you know, supported platform. You can do it out. And then how much data transfer, you can do it in one shot. All these are like, you know, uh, pre-checks or initial uh, checks. You can take it off all of them. You can just have a look on that. I'm just going to directly jump into my phase one, initial setup phase, where I'm going to download my 
uh, XTT script. It, this is my XTT script. Once you download that from your uh, uh, Oracle support portal, and then you're going to keep it anywhere, home Oracle XTT, and then extract that zip file. You're going to get all of these files. And then I'm going to in, very interested in the XTT properties and the XTT driver. These are the two files. Uh, you know, I'm going to edit this XTT driver.pl uh, and then uh, very, very first initial phase, what I said, like download that script from your Oracle support and then you can create your 19C database. You're going to create your 19C database here on the target and you're going to download and stage that uh, script on both the server. That's your first very initial phase. And then in the initial setup phase, that's the one thing, creating your 19C database, downloading that script and modifying that script. And then what you're going to do that initial phase, uh, you know, I'll just skip it out. You're going to create this XTT properties file. What are the table spaces you want to transfer it from the source to target? You're going to uh, give all those uh, table spaces list here. And then you're going to mention the DB uh, copy directory files and then backup format. And then all this, like, you know, you're going to uh, mention the properties over there so that, you know, you're going to export those two table spaces. These are like, you know, biggest table spaces, which are of 30 terabyte or 30, 31 or 30 terabyte, whatever the source database uh, application table spaces. You're gonna just export them. You're gonna take a transportable table space of them. And then you're gonna restore it on the target server. The command to uh, export them is, uh, here it is. Uh, this is gonna be check your, uh, uh, create your, uh, once you like, you know, the, I'm gonna say it. Uh, alter database enable block checking. Though that's a, one of the prerequisite checks you're gonna do it at your, uh, um, source database site so that you know your backup will be much more faster your incremental backup will be much more faster and then you're going to modify all the script you're going to place it on both the source and target server and then uh, you're going to run that xtt properties phase uh, that's where uh, uh, your second phase will come into picture this is your second phase that is the preparation phase uh, create a data file copy from the source to your staging directory the command is you're going to run this perl script xtt driver.pl hyphen P, uh, you're gonna run that one. That's gonna copy your, all the table space data files to your staging area. That is your entire 30 terabyte data file is gonna getting copied to staging area. That's your first phase. You have to use this hyphen P uh, in conjugation with your uh, backup, right? So then uh, in the prepare, prepare phase, like you know, once you copy all the data files and then on the target, you're gonna run hyphen C. You can see, right, uh, your Oracle home, Perl, and then, you know, XTT driver.pl hyphen C. The moment you see hyphen C run that whatever the data files copied to staging area, it will be copied to your target server here with the help of that XTT properties file, right? Once that is done, entire 30 terabyte of data files will be copied into your 19C database from 12C to staging area, from the staging area to 19C. These are your first two phases. And then in third phases, that is, whatever I talked about, it's on purely with what you did on Sunday backup and Monday we restored here. And Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, next five days, we'll be like doing a roll forward. Again, same thing uh, on the source side, we're gonna do that uh, XTT driver.pl hyphen I, it's gonna take the incremental backup of that one day data, it will stage it on my staging area. On the target side, I'm gonna run the same command, uh, XTT driver hyphen R, that is like roll forward whatever the incremental backup I stayed in my staging era, it will be applied on my target server. So I'll do it same next five days, uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Uh, the steps, roll forward step will be continued again and again and again uh, from the source database to staging, staging to target. And then once the roll forward is all done on the next Sunday when downtime starts, that is my final cutover, final incremental backup. I'm going to do the same thing. What I'm going to do, I'm going to put my table space in read-only mode. Whatever the two application table spaces, T1, TS1 and TS2, I'll put them in read-only mode. The moment I put them in read-only mode, I'll do a final backup and I'll restore it here. So I'll take the same final incremental backup per XTT driver.pl hyphen I, that final incremental backup because these are read-only mode. Nobody can insert any data. Or nobody, No application users can able to write any data here, right? So that's the final incremental backup. You're going to take it to staging area. From the staging area, you're going to do a final uh, restore on your target server. So again, XTT driver dot hyphen R, that's a roll forward. Uh, that will be your recover the data file. So that's the final copy. You're going to apply it on your target server, 19C database. That's it. 
the final cutover done. And then you're going to do like stay phase number five. That's uh, your metadata export. Entire metadata via dbling, or again, do the metadata export from the uh, source database to staging area, from the staging to target, you can do that one. You can create these directories and create the public link, and you can run that final cutover. Like, you know, you can do via dblink, you can do this one. Import uh, username and password via dblink, and then your uh, transportable table space is always. A, uh, metrics equal to y exclude statistics you're going to do that entire transportable table space from the source to target and then that's it your uh, metadata all will be available on your target server and then your database will be up and running here and then you can validate your target table spaces in our phase number six validate the transportable table space for the logical corruption check validate table space ts1 ts2 check logical is there any logical check or corruption check you can validate this everything is fine you can, this table space will be in read only mode and make it uh, read write. And then final stage is clean up. Whatever the backup you kept it on your staging area, you can just do a clean up. And then your migration is done. That to AIX to Linux with your 12C to 19C. Two projects, migration and updation in one single script or in, uh, with a minimal downtime, you're going to achieve it here. Right? That's a very pretty cool uh, feature with this uh, transportable table space. You can pretty much make use of this uh, transportable table space with incremental backup. And then this is what I call mass node. They clearly explained about uh, use always this uh, V4 latest version script. And then these are the high level step what I listed out here. Initial setup, prepare phase, roll forward, transportable uh, table space. And then you know, these are the four phases they listed it out. But that pretty much what uh, seven phases what I listed out will all come under these four pages uh, four or uh, whatever the steps what they highlighted in this high level steps right so that's uh, pretty much what i wanted to cover for today uh, any questions and answer you always comment on these videos uh, probably we can take it up thank you guys